In this video, we will be talking about graphing and parabola from the vertex form of the quadratic equation. Press pause to copy these notes. When you're ready to continue, press play. When you're given the vertex form of a quadratic equation, written in this form, you can get a number of things to help you graph your equation. First of all, the vertex is given by the coordinates h, k. Also, the axis of symmetry is the equation x equal h. If a is positive, the parabola will open up. If a is negative, the parabola will open down. If a is bigger than 1 or less than negative 1, then the parabola will be skinnier than the basic graph of the parabola y equal x squared. If a is a fraction between negative 1 and 1, then the parabola will be wide or fatter than the basic graph of y equal x squared. Let's use this information to graph a parabola whose equation is in vertex form. In this equation, this can be rewritten as x minus a negative 3 quantity squared plus 5. So we see that a is negative 2, h is negative 3, and k is 5. So our vertex is the point h, k, or negative 3, this is our vertex. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line that goes through this point. So we see that our axis of symmetry is right here. And the equation of that line is x equals negative 3. We also know that the parabola will open down. Since a is negative. And since a is negative 2, that means that each y value of our basic graph needs to be multiplied by negative 2. With the basic graph from our vertex, we would go right 1 and up 1. But we need to multiply that by a negative 2, which means we'll go right 1 and down 2. And left 1 and down 2. Normally with our basic graph, we would go right 2 and up four, but we need to go right to and down eight. Also left two and down eight. So 
your parabola. The domain on this graph is all real numbers, and the range goes from negative infinity to 5, including the 5. 